come or I have a student that might solo. Now as an instructor, I've never actually soloed a student before. So this is, I'm pretty nervous about it. Um, I took over the student from another instructor too, so he hasn't been with me the full time. And we're looking to solo either today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I've done a couple lessons with him. He's good. He's on his game. A couple things could be better. But uh, as an instructor, it's just it's almost scarier than soloing yourself. Because instead of you being in control, they're in control. Like, you sign off, you know, their life and their capabilities to control the plane. And then you got to trust that you made the right decision and that they can perform. Because when you solo, you know, you're in control. It's like, all right, like, I think I can do this. I get in the plane and if I kill myself, I kill myself. It's on me, but it's, it's an interesting feeling. So we'll see how today goes, how today's flight goes and see if this man can solo. So today, I just signed off my first student solo. Pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty crazy. I was more nervous doing this than soloing myself. But uh, he did everything he needed to do. He made proper safe landings. And I said, you know what, you're ready. Pre-solo test was done. 6187 Bravo, 6187 Charlie. Signed that logbook and we're good to go. The man solo did two full stop taxi backs. Came back in with his wife, his family there on the 4th of July. There's nothing better than that. That's, that's why we do this. That's exactly why we do this here. Aviation is incredible. It's amazing what we get to share and what we get to celebrate with each other. And the fact that I could have my first student solo and his first solo on the 4th of July. Celebrating America, our great country, and his whole family to be there. There's nothing better. It's sweet. Y'all have a great 4th of July.